not a good time for a kid. And besides, I already had a kid. And my parents loved him. Would they love another one? I had to make a decision that would affect the one I already had allowed to live. I had to make a choice, and I chose to terminate the child I thought could ruin my entire life. I told my boyfriend not to worry. I was going to have an abortion, no big deal. It was a given since it became legal, everyone was doing it. Our legal system had empowered people to kill their babies. I knew they did abortions of Planned Parenthood, so I went with my boyfriend, the father of the baby, and made an appointment. They asked me why I had come, and I replied, I want to have an abortion. They never counseled me or suggested alternatives. They just made my appointment. As I lay on the table, I remember thinking that everything will be all right. It'll be okay soon. Nobody will ever know. Suddenly, I was awakened by a nurse who told me, you can go now. It's all over. I started to sob and must have gotten rather loud. When one of the nurses asked me why I was crying, I screamed, I wanted my baby back and put it back inside me. She began to laugh and called another nurse over. The other nurse could hear me crying and asking to leave, to have my baby put back inside of me, so she too began to laugh. Then they called my boyfriend by name, he had been there before with other girls, and told him to drive to the back. They took me to the back door and said that they did not want me going out the front and upsetting the other clients. When I got back to my dorm room, my boyfriend left me. I remember feeling empty and alone. I cried for my baby as the realization that there was no longer a baby inside of me hit me. After days of crying, I decided to put this behind me and pretend like it never happened. But I secretly obsessed thinking about what this child would have been like, his personality, his looks. I wondered what, if allowed to breathe, my child would have become. I re realized that I had done something awful. After that, I could do nothing right. I deserved punishment and found someone to help me at the skull. My self-worth had deteriorated. I gained weight, stopped wearing makeup, and did not care what I wore. Thirty years later, in church, I begged forgiveness for my sin, but did not feel forgiven. The priest I spoke to told me to ask forgiveness of my child. Over and over, I asked my child to forgive me. In a dream, I saw three babies playing in the clouds. One turned to me and said, Hi, Mommy. It was at this moment I knew I had been forgiven. But still, I kept my dark secret, telling only my children and asking them to tell no one. At a 40 Days for Life vigil, I saw a woman carrying a sign that said, I regret my abortion. I regretted my abortion and wanted to carry that sign. I was convicted. On the sidewalk, I knew I had a message. I had learned the healing power of forgiveness. I was silent no more.